In the Taldigan National Forest, there is a lake. And at this lake, a family has seen a creature that is very similar to Bigfoot. Come along with us while we find out what it is and what is at this lake. Here at this lake in the Taldigan National Forest, in the last three years there's been at least six or eight sightings of a creature that's very similar to Bigfoot. From the reports that I've gotten, they he is at least seven or eight feet tall, the normal big feet and everything else. Behind me, where the stream enters the lake, is where he sighted the most. Over here there's a dam where he sighted also. But today, we're gonna talk about this creature. I'm gonna interview a guy that's actually seen him. And I just wanted to share you this share this with you guys. Uh, it's, uh, it's in the Taldea National Forest, like I said before. It's an uh, undisclosed location. If uh, some of you guys want to know, you can email me. But come with me on this journey, and uh, maybe we'll see this creature, maybe not. Hope you enjoy it. Three generations of one family have seen this creature. And each one of them was very convinced there is something at this lake. The man I'm going to interview today was a skeptic until he saw the creature. And he told me, hey, I believe yeah. real fast. Something like that. It's hard not to believe what you see it. Out of all the places at this little lake where the creature was sighted, he was sighted the most at this little creek right here. This little creek right here flows into this lake and it comes off the mountain. Most of the time, the people that had sighted him, the hikers and stuff like that, sighted him right in this corner where we're gonna go. Imagine walking through this trail and all of a sudden, right in the distance, you see something lift off, off the ground and walk away. That's what the, one of the witnesses told me. He said, he said, I was walking through here had my head down, looked up, that thing come up off the ground, stood up, and walked off right through there. Imagine how you would feel. Me, personally, being out here by myself, it would kind of freak me out. And he said that once it walked off, he he stayed here for a second, and he, uh, he gathered his bearings, thought about what he saw, walked forward about a little bit more, about a hundred more feet. He said just his nerves got him and he turned around and, and walked off. Can't say much that I blame him. Actually, I hear something over there. Sounds like you're kind of pushing some branches down and stuff. I don't see anything behind me. Who knows? Maybe just getting nervous. Hello. My name's John Jones. Growing up a couple of miles from here, as a kid, I heard stories from my dad and my uncles and my grandfather about seeing something in these woods. You know, at first, I didn't believe it. He just thinks folk stories, wild tales. One afternoon, walking through here, just clearing my head and joining them pretty day, scouting around, looking for a campsite. It's nice fall day like now. Heard something rustling, and I think ah, that's probably this dam or whatever, water, around this you know, lake here. And anyway, come around the corner, approaching this very stream here, I heard, looked up, and there it was. I mean, I just saw this creature. Sort of, you know, looking at me doing Lord knows what, I don't know, hunt for food, whatever. And he looks at me, appears to turn around and starts walking off. I'm stunned at first. And, you know, just standing there for a minute or two to, to uh, catch my thoughts, sort of not believing what I'm seeing. 
and this creature, Bigfoot, whatever you want to call him, Sasquatch, he appeared to be between seven, seven and a half foot tall, uh, most of the build. Just walks off, like, you know, you don't bother me, I won't bother you. And of course, when I get my bears back together, it's, it's, it was a wake up call. My, my hair is on the back of my neck, standing on the end. And I was turned around and started walking back to uh, back out of here. I didn't want to get, figured I didn't want to bother it, it didn't bother me. Walking back to my car after I saw this creature, you know, it was in the back of my mind, is this thing following me or not? I kept turning around, sort of, you know, checking, seeing, uh, as I kept my pace up because I'm thinking, hey, I want to get the heck out of here. Uh, and also kept, kept across my mind the stories of my granddad and my dad telling me about seeing this creature growing up and I didn't believe them and asked to get a chance to see what they saw. I remember my dad telling me that uh, growing up as he saw uh, saw this creature right above the fridge right up here uh, from the outline and he saw it and I'm thinking, oh, he's just telling me a tale, you know, camp fireside horror stories. I'm just trying to focus. I'm thinking, yeah, he's just going on about it, but this is something that I can cherish to a point of seeing something that, that he saw and, and he can have it with me forever. So, I hope to keep on I hope to keep my curiosity up and come back and say it again. Well, beside this stream where my friend that I just interviewed talked about seeing the Bigfoot, up here's the ridge where his dad saw it. And oh my God, right here in the dirt is a track, a fresh track at that. Now, I'm out here with him. He's behind the camera and we're both just ecstatic. I'm gonna grab the camera up and we're gonna point it right here and show you. Now this thing, man, how big you think this thing had to be? Because the track is right here and there's not another track to up in the dirt up on the top. So he, it, it, maybe seven foot eight, something like that. Something like that, yeah. I mean, that's about a, I don't know how big this track is, but I'm just gonna show it to you, okay? There it is right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm gonna try to get you close. But that thing is big and it's fresh too because you can see where the toes gripped in it. And it looked like he come up, went through here and the tracks are disappearing and kind of out there. Now, right over here on top of this ridge here is where uh, my buddy's dad saw him. And he said he thought his grandpa saw him in this little draw right here. That is amazing. Who knows, he might be watching this right now. All right, I guess. Coming back from the stream where we saw the footprints right over here, I found another one. I pretty much scouted the area over through here. Didn't find very many. There is some coming through here. Well, there's a really good one right here too. I'll show it to you. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's right there. <clears throat> and uh, one thing about this one is, well, I can't, let me show you. The toes is really defined on this one. So whatever it is, sucker's big. The water's not muddy through there, so I know he probably didn't come through recently. But that's still a pretty, that's still a pretty good track right there. Yeah, something's definitely up there moving around. So he, he your your dad kind of seen it on top of the ridges a couple of times, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's something up there. There's something up there moving around. It almost looks like there's something right. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. It almost looks like right there something's peeking over. Yeah. Did you say your dad saw it at, uh, at during the day and at dusk, dusk too? Yeah, it's from dusk part of the day. He saw it. 
Yeah. And he's one brave man. Did it freak him out or anything? Oh, man. He said, yeah, he, he told me, he said, it took me a while to so get the post about to get her to come back down here. Before we go, Ed, I wanted to show you where, where my grandfather saw the creature. This dam over here, there, that's my right. Back in the, it had to be back in the early 40s, before we right after we finished the dam, my grandfather come through here as a kid, or you know, young man, and of course the story's been going on for generations, but it, it shows that there's some validity to it because of the, just the surrounding areas and stuff like that, the story that, that we think, again, is an old wise tale, but like I said, I want to show the dam one time before we leave. It, how much it means to me now to, to connect the dots so my grandfather, my dad, and myself and hopefully pass on to generations yet to come. So just to reiterate, didn't you say he saw it on the right left side over here, over beside the uh, top of the dam over here on the right? Correct. Right? Yes, sir. And uh, if you look on the topo maps, this right here flows down into like a canyon or something and everything. I imagine there's probably some good fish and that may be why if there is a creature around here and well, I mean, we saw the tracks of something, you know, it's maybe it's feeding right there. Cause I, I bet you some fish or something comes over that every once in a while. Oh yeah, usually no matter where you have a dam at, there's always gonna be the, there's a bigger fish. Things I have to eat, and this is probably one of the most, you know, adequate food sources for him. So, for this creature. As we walk back, I wonder. That's the first time I've ever seen a track like that. And as we walk, I wonder even more. As we leave, we both wonder what this thing could be. So many people are seeing, uh, I guess what you would call Bigfoot, all over the United States, all over Alabama. And as we leave this uh, beautiful lake, I guess we just have more questions. Something's out here, who knows what it is, I guess we'll never know. I guess people will keep seeing it and uh, we'll keep documenting. Hope you enjoyed this one. I enjoyed filming it. It's something that is uh, near and dear to my heart. I love to love to think about it. And uh, we'll see you for the next video.